everyone. This is Nuki from The Spitfire. I hope you're all having a great week and are looking forward to June Joust starting soon. I am here to make an important announcement. As for now, Ree Price is stepping down from his head coach position with the London Spitfire and Overwatch coaching as a whole for the foreseeable future. He informed me about this about a week ago and you can check out his personal Twitter for more detail. He will talk about his thoughts and why he's gonna step down from this position. Effective immediately, Fisher will be stepping up to the head coach position. He did a great job with Hurricane last year and worked really well with the Spitfire so far, so I have big faith in him to pick up where Reprise left off. We keep in touch with more announcements and maybe a new coach coming in soon. Hello Twitter and hello Spitfire fans. Um, by the time you're seeing this, I will have taken over as head coach of the Spitfire. I think we can all agree that Taking over mid-season is not necessarily a fun idea, um, but I completely respect Reprise's decision to retire. Um, I will, you know, support whatever he wants to do. In terms of what that means for, for Spitfire specifically, obviously me taking over isn't going to magically fix all of our problems, you know, day one. Um, we're still going to have to work hard. Uh, we're still going to have to, like, slowly improve over the season. However, I am super excited about all the challenges that, like, this sort of, you know, step up for me. Um, sort of entails you know like th this sort of thing has also like happened super fast for me like i went from you know being a player to then being a coach of a contenders team to then being an assistant coach of an overwatch league team and now being a head coach of an overwatch league team um so a lot of this stuff is also happening very fast you know for me and um, i'm obviously going to need a lot of time to like sort of like settle in and like figure out like the way i want to do things um but i'm very excited about doing that and i've got a great assistant in in commander x and sort of supporting me in that regard i'm hoping that this doesn't come as like a huge like shock to any like spitfire fans and they will just suddenly stop supporting us I've, i really hope that you guys will just you know keep keep having faith in the players and us of course um because I, I, I have faith in the players and I want to see them succeed and I want us to get a dub this month in, in the in the June joust. So that's just that's just something we're gonna work hard to achieve. The the team preparation this month have obviously been a little bit different from what it is normally because there are hero pools. Um, so that's something that we have to take into consideration. A lot of the stuff we learned from like the May Melee, I think at least for the players, is like sort of seeing uh, what it's actually like to be in the league, you know, like they, they come, a lot of them come from contenders, um, a lot of unexperienced players in terms of like at the actual league. Um, so obviously just playing in the league, playing against players who have been in the league for a long time, just sort of seeing like what, what different monsters there are here uh, compared to contenders, I think was like a big eye opener for them. Um, and it's a good thing, right? This is something that they, they also just need to sort of um, become accustomed to. In terms of like what happened in May Melee, obviously very disappointing. Um, felt like some of the matches was definitely winnable. You know, some some silly mistakes here and there from us. Uh, it probably could have been prevented. Um, but also we've just sort of learned that you know a lot of the lot of the stuff that you know we maybe got away with in contenders because of just you know better players or you know just more synergy. It doesn't necessarily work that way in the league. I want to touch on like the hero pools, but without you know giving away too much juice um, in terms of like you know what we're playing or you know what other teams are playing. Um, Obviously, hero pools is you know, a lot different than just playing normally, um, and you have to make like very snappy decisions when it comes to what you want to play, what do you think is good, how do you think like it's gonna develop like slowly over time, um, because you, you don't have a lot of time, so you need to make very fast decisions on these are the things that we want to do, for example, and then enemy teams are also gonna think about well, what's fit, what what's like what's the most beneficial to us, what fits our playstyle, what fits our players. So you know, without giving away too much. Um, I think hero pools just means that it, we're probably going to see a meta that isn't super like refined, you know, teams might not be playing, you know, what's considered optimal some of the time, maybe they will just play what like sort of fits them or fits their style. But obviously when you don't have a lot of time, that just sort of happens. So this month in the in the June Joust, we're obviously playing um, a lot of great teams. Um, we're playing two teams who went to Hawaii and one of them actually won it, right? So um, obviously strong, tough opponents. But I think it would be like a really good confidence boost to us if we just sort of like, if if the things we have done this month will sort of like bear a little bit of fruit. Quick message to the fans. Obviously, I'm hoping that even sort of the changes that you guys will support us and have faith in the players, uh, much like I do myself. This change isn't going to magically make us the best team in the world, but hopefully it's a sort of step in the right direction where we can slowly evolve as a team and start getting some dubs because I really want a dub soon.